What if, as it turned out, you can actually get better gaming quality simply by changing your HDMI cable? So today we're going to talk to you about the Marseille M-Cable Gaming Edition, which is basically what I have here. This is an HDMI cable that promises to offer improved image quality in gaming through contextual anti-aliasing, they do contrast and detail enhancement, sharpness improvements, uh, it supports up to 120p, I'm sorry, 120 frames per second at 1080p actually, uh, all while doing sub one millisecond latency uh, because of the on wire on cable processing. So if you've seen HDMI cables before, you're probably not used to seeing ones that tell you which end goes to which device. You can see you've got the source on this side and the TV on this side, and the connector is much larger than normal. Inside that is actually a DSP, a digital signal processor, that promises to do all these magical functions of improving the look of your uh, gaming just by changing out your HDMI cable. Now it does require power to do this. So you'll notice that there is a USB cable attached to this as well. Um, it does require power for that. So, you know, most TVs are gonna support that and Marseille claims that, that most TVs will offer the, the necessary power for that. But one thing to keep in mind is that if it doesn't and you have to use an extra AC adapter or whatever, this cable will not function at all without that USB power. So even if uh, you said, I don't want the video processing that happens on board with this cable, um, and you unplug the USB, that actually won't work. So if, you, if, if that's the case, you have to swap your USB cable back or make sure you actually find USB power. So obviously this seems like this magical event, right? We've seen all the claims of, uh, if you get diamond coated ethernet cables, your audio is going to sound better, right? All this type of stuff that is just clearly uh, FUD, right? It's, it's, it's not true, none of this is the case. So we saw this show up and um, I paid it. I paid for it at $150. This was a $150 HDMI cable uh, just because really I wanted to prove that it didn't work. But as it turns out, it actually kind of does, right? So Ken spent some time with it uh, and we went through uh, three different games, two modern titles and one retro title with this Marseille M-Cable Gaming Edition. Uh, first up we did Hitman the 2016 version of Hitman at the ultra settings, 1080p. Uh, and if you look at these screenshots, you can actually see the difference it's making. It's not a dramatic difference. It's not like going from 0AA to 4X MSAA, right, in game. Um, but it is very, it's equivalent to something like SMAA or FXAA. If you pay attention to the outlines of the character models, for example, you'll see that with the M cable, they're actually much less jagged. Right? We found it to be similar to the SMMA, SMAA implementation in Hitman, but with zero performance hit over you know, enabling it in the game, which you, even if it's a modest hit or a, a very small hit, you're still getting some performance hit. You do not get that when you're doing your anti-aliasing through an HDMI cable, as it turns out. We looked at Rise of the Tomb Raider at very high image quality settings. We see sharpness increases and AA improvements in the foliage, but you do actually lose a little bit of the texture detail on the stone structures in the distance. In the near stone structures, they look fine, but in the distance ones, uh, you tend to lose a little bit of the detail. Again, this is all part of a, you know, a, a dumb image processor that's happening very quickly without a lot of context of frame to frame or anything like that. Uh, this is some of the, the stuff you have to live with in that regard. Uh, compared to FXAA, which is the AA integration that most people use in this game, the M cable is actually better. It's sharper. If you enable FXAA in the game, it actually makes the whole screen look kind of muddy and blurry, right? Whereas the M cable does not do that, but still improves the quality of edges. An Unreal Tournament 2004, a staple here at PC Perspective. Of course, we had to look at it. This game has no anti-aliasing settings in the game. It's just an older title. Uh, but you do see more traditional anti-aliasing improvements with the M-Cable Gaming Edition, right? All these diagonal lines are just, in general, smoother across the board. Uh, you don't lose a lot of texture detail because there's not a lot of texture detail in this older game, right? But you do see some improvements in these edges. Um, it is not dramatic in any of the three games we looked at. It's not uh, a night and day difference, but it's clear that the cable is doing what it promised to do. Now, if you look at the, the screenshots on the website where they do the before and after, it looks like this substantial, huge upgrade. And obviously those are incorrect. Those are just BS, right? Like don't, don't look at those. Look at the screenshots we're showing you here in this video. Um, it's interesting technology. It's 
probably better suited to be integrated into TVs or in displays instead of an HDMI cable. Um, we'd also like to see a way to turn off the processing, right? So uh, if, if you don't like the way it happens to work with some particular game, right now, if, if that's the case, you have to swap your HDMI cable from the device to the display. Um, being able to just unplug the USB and have it go into a default pass-through of HDMI signal would be, I think, a much better option for them there. Obviously, we have to talk about latency. It's very important, right? You know, one of the concerns for this is if you're adding, you know, five to 10 milliseconds of latency, it is even worth it for you to use this cable. They claim less than one millisecond of additional latency. And in our testing, that's actually the case. We used a, uh, a latency tester built for HDMI for TV testing. And we basically went from a standard dumb cable to the M cable gaming edition and almost saw no differences in the input latency that we measured there. So it is a very fast processing um, that should introduce no additional lag or latency into your gaming at all. Also, at $150, that's a lot of money to ask for an HDMI cable, even one that is doing something as cool as this, right? As a PC gamer, it's kind of a, a poor decision to go this route. If you want to spend $150 to improve image quality, I think you'd be better off going with a GPU upgrade, right? Um, you could almost go from a GTX 1080 to a 1080 Ti with that, you know, if prices were normal. But if you have a GTX 1060, which is what all of our games were tested on when we were looking at the M cable, uh, you can actually go up to a 1070 for 80 to 100 bucks. So for half the price of this cable almost, you can go from a 1060 to a 1070 and get significant image quality improvements or frame rate improvements or whatever you have want to use that extra GPU horsepower for. Um, some other like older consoles this might make sense for so if you're you know have particular Xbox 360 or PS3 games that you really like that don't have anti-aliasing you can't go in and change settings on them um, this might be a, an interesting way to get some improvements uh, we're looking forward to getting our SNES Classic in so that we can hook it up to this and see how it totally destroys image quality maybe it'll look amazing I don't know we'll have to see um, it was an interesting experiment it's not snake oil it's not um, probably worth $150 for the image quality settings or the image quality changes that you do actually get from this. So again, this is the Marseille M Cable Gaming Edition. They have some other ones that do like, they claim to do 4K video improvements and color improvements and all different types of things. But uh, this is one we were interested in testing. So check out the review at PCPro.com if you want to get better uh, resolution versions of these screenshots so you can do side by sides. Recommended to download them to your PC so you can just kind of swap back and forth with arrow keys and see the actual differences there. But again, that's at PCPro.com. Thanks, guys.